The overall goal of this experiment is to demonstrate how to perform acute in vivo electrophysiological recordings of local field potentials and multi-unit activity from the corticobasal ganglia loop of anesthetized rats. This method can help answer key questions in the new science field, such as how pathological oscillations contribute to the complex pathophysiology in new psychiatric diseases. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be used to record extracellular potentials from various cortical and subcortical targets of the brain simultaneously. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy of different new psychiatric diseases because local field potentials can be potentially used as a biomarker for new modulatory treatments such as closed loop deep brain stimulation. Though this method can provide insight into the pathophysiology of the basal ganglia, it can also be applied to other brain areas. To begin this procedure, prepare a 5 cm length of silver wire with a diameter of 200 micrometers and remove any coating if necessary. Next, hold the wire tip downwards in a flame until the tip starts to melt and forms a ball with a diameter of 1 mm. Then, cut off the electrode to a total length of 15 mm from the beginning of the ball-shaped tip to the wire end. Solder a precision connector to the end of the wire, which fits the electrophysiological recording system. Then, Cover the soldering point from the wire end to the connector with conductive silver varnish.